It is now time to meet the extraordinary nominees for this year's award. But before we do, we'll have a message from Athena International's founder. Greetings from Athena International. I'm Martha Mertz, proud advocate for the mission and vision we share, particularly with regard to the Athena Award, the gold standard for recognition of women as leaders across this country and beyond. Athena leaders advocate fiercely for what they passionately believe in. And when the moment arises, they are willing to act courageously, standing alone, telling their truth. Through all this, this kind of leadership fosters collaboration, bringing as many voices to the table as possible when decisions are made that affect all of us. These leaders value building relationships, truly engaging with others and trusting them. They value giving back, making the world a better place. And finally, they celebrate the unbreakable bonds of unity forged by working with their colleagues. Today, you are lifting your Athena nominees and a recipient, people who have served as role models for all of you. I hope you will take the time to recognize their strengths, and most importantly, to understand your own. On behalf of Athena International, our board of directors and our staff, I send my warmest heartfelt congratulations to you and to your community for truly making a difference. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, we are proud to present to you this year's Athena Award nominees. We ask that each nominee stand as she is presented. Christina Amyot. Christina Amyot is president and CEO of Enform HR LLC, a human resources consulting firm based out of Tinton Falls, New Jersey. Ms. Amyot and her team of HR business professionals provide a full range of customized HR services, helping companies protect and grow their business, including HR management, training and development, and strategic partnering. In addition to conducting a variety of seminars for clients, Ms. Amyot speaks publicly to industry associations on a variety of HR topics. Ms. Amyot graduated with a Bachelor of Arts degree and a Master's in Human Resources Management from Rutgers University. She holds an SHRM Senior Professional Certification from the Society of Human Resource Management, a Senior Professional in Human Resources Certification from the Human Resources Certification Institute, and a Life Accident and Health Insurance License from the State of New Jersey Department of Banking and Insurance. Her company, Inform HR, is certified as a Women Business Enterprise with the State of New Jersey and with NJ Transit the New Jersey Department of Transportation, and the Port Authority of New York, New Jersey, under the New Jersey United Certification Program. Wendy Bruzisi. Wendy Bruzisi of Freehold NJ Network for Success started her networking group in January of 2010 with her husband, John. Her goal was to create an environment where the local business community could come together in a relaxed, casual atmosphere and engage in relationship-based networking. The first meeting included the Brzezicis and five other guests, and it has since grown to over 2,500 members in Middlesex, Monmouth, Mercer, and Ocean Counties. Wendy encourages her group members to build relationships rather than just exchange business cards. She strongly believes that people do business with people that they know, like, and trust, and building solid relationships is a fundamental way to make this happen. Through Freehold NJ Network for Success, Wendy and John have had the opportunity to raise awareness for several local nonprofits, as well as partner with other organizations in their community. In addition to running her networking group, Wendy owns and operates a successful health and wellness business with Arbonne International and partners with John in their event planning company, Synergy Event Planners. She does all this alongside her full-time corporate job as a human resources project manager. Wendy has been married to John for 13 years and they reside in the Freehold Township area. Wendy is thrilled to be actively serving and supporting her home community and local business owners. Ro Couture de Saro. Rose Gutsy Gals Live by Their Own Rules The Gutsy Gal movement is luring powerful women to soulful, gutsy action and is led by the ultimate crusader, Roe Couture de Saro. 
Every ambitious female is encouraged to connect with Roe to create a roadmap for freedom and fulfillment. Mark your calendars and put her on your to-do list. She's the visionary pioneer of Gutsy Gals Get More and the go-to expert for women to achieve their greatest destiny. Upon your first call, she'll question you. If you're looking to build a lucrative, sustainable business and career with grace and ease, what is it that's holding you back? In 2016, Rose's advocacy for supporting women has grown into a glorified success. She's witty and powerful and works with women to embrace their authenticity and feminine brilliance at any age. You'll instantly find her Brooklyn accent magnetic, and she exemplifies the accolades of street smarts with heart. With Wall Street glass ceilings broken time and again, she's created a world where females have their voice respected because she learned how to do it herself. Today, she teaches women bold and compassionate boundary setting that changes their lives. Roe touches a chord spiritually, intellectually, and emotionally, and has experienced women taking more risks and achieving more than ever before. When you meet Roe, you meet a woman who understands what you're going through. If you're ready to be transformed, get to work and become a gutsy gal. Stacy Curtis. Stacy Curtis, president and founder of CW Solutions, combines 25 years of real estate experience with a nationwide background in specialized land acquisition services to serve clients in the gas, utility, and telecommunications industries. Her accomplishments include working with the State Wireless Association to form the New Jersey Wireless Association. Curtis was the first woman president for SWAP and an executive committee member. Curtis is a member of the New Jersey Wireless Association an associate member of the New Jersey Utility Association and the Utility Transport Contractors Association of New Jersey. She serves as membership chair for the International Right-of-Way Association, Chapter 15, and is vice president of the Supplier Diversity Development Council. Curtis is a forum committee representative for the Women's Business Enterprise National Council, a member of the Women's President's Organization of Monmouth County, and served on the advisory board of Enterprising Women magazine. She is a licensed real estate agent in New Jersey and a member of the National Association of Realtors. Curtis completed the Tuck WEBNC Executive Program and is a graduate of the College of St. Elizabeth. She's been previously recognized with a 2015 Brava Award from Smart CEO magazine as a 2014 Top Leading Woman Entrepreneur by New Jersey Monthly and by Enterprising Women magazine as a Woman of the Year for 2014. Serena DeMasso. Deputy Director Serena DeMasso was sworn into her first full term as a freeholder in January 2014 after filling a vacated seat and unexpired term in 2012 and 2013. Freeholder DeMasso served on the Holmdel Township Committee for 10 years and was mayor from 2006 to 2010. While on the governing body, she chaired the Public Safety and Administration Committee, co chaired the Public Works Committee, and was a member of the planning board. She supported preservation of open space, shared services, and responsible budgeting. She currently serves on the Meridian Hospital's Corporation Board of Trustees, is chairwoman of the Bayshore Hospital Foundation, and is an active member of the Homedale First Aid Squad. Other community activities include serving as the president of the Village School Parent School Association and the William R. Satz School Parent Support Group, league president of the Homedale Youth Athletic Association, and teaching CCD at St. Catherine's Roman Catholic Church. Freeholder Tommaso holds a Juris Doctorate from St. John's University School of Law and is a graduate of St. John's University College of Business Administration. She's also a 2004 graduate of the Christy Todd Whitman Excellence in Public Service Series. In 2015, she was honored with the Girl Scouts of the Jersey Shore Women of Distinction Award and was also named Woman of the Year by the New Jersey Federation of Republican Women. Freeholder Tommaso and her husband, Dr. Gerald Tommaso, live in Holmdale and have four wonderful children. Donalyn Giegrich. Donalyn Giegrich is the president and CEO of DLG Consulting, a global integrated business and wellness consultancy providing convention keynotes, corporate consulting, and executive speech coaching. She's been on the podium from California to Cornell as a conference motivator, leadership trainer, wellness spokesperson, and midlife model for global brands including Campbell's, Novo Nordisk, Balfour Beatty Investments, International Association of Claims Professionals, and the National Kidney Registry. Her entrepreneurial success has roots as a 25-year-old Red Bank insurance agency owner. She's currently a producer partner at Couch Bronsdorf Insurance and co-owner of Heritage Benefits Group, LLC.
To complement her business acumen, she shares balancing programs for stressed out executives as an internationally traveled yoga instructor. Locally, she hosts a Yoga on the Lake Summer Series as an outdoor celebration of community through group and private yoga sessions. She's a Mrs. New Jersey pageant winner and resiliency model as a rare cancer global advocate survivor, blogger, and spokesmodel to empower others. Donna Lynn is a leadership columnist, digital spokesperson for a national nonprofit, and co-founder of Kick Cancer Overboard. She is a trained domestic violence task force community member and offers complimentary yoga classes for women in transition. She and her husband Tom celebrate 20 nieces and nephews, two dogs, and horses. They've hosted numerous international college students from around the world in the past decade as a commitment to global citizenry and lifelong learning. Jacqueline Mejia Suertes. Jacqueline serves as the Regional Director for America's SBDC New Jersey, covering Monmouth and Ocean Counties. In her professional life, there are endless examples of her initiative, creativity, and excellence. Under her leadership, the center has assisted in the growth of multiple businesses and won numerous awards, ranging from economic development to winning national pitch competitions. She has over 30 years of experience in marketing and over 14 years of entrepreneurship expertise. She's a leader, seasoned business advisor, strategist, speaker, and entrepreneur. Throughout her career, Jacqueline has demonstrated abiding interest in the people with whom she works, sharing her knowledge, experience, and entrepreneurial spirit. To top off her outstanding abilities, she does it with equal facility in English and Spanish. Jacqueline was the first recipient of the Monmouth County Women in Business Award in 2015. In 2010, Jacqueline was the recipient of the New Jersey Minority Achievers Award for her outstanding professional development and community involvement. She holds a BA from Hunter College, MBA from Ashford University, and is currently working on a doctorate in management at the University of Maryland. In her non-professional life, she's been the chairman of the steering committee of achievers of the Red Bank YMCA, which is a youth development program. Outside of professional and community interest, she likes to travel, read, do DIY projects, and enjoys living in Middletown, New Jersey with her two children and their family pet dog, Bruce Wayne. Jennifer Naughton Jennifer Naughton is the co-founder and president of Radiant Resources, a technology services firm focused on assisting businesses with their IT challenges. For the past 23 years, she's led her team's growth from a hardware-focused reseller to a strategic technology consultant. She maintains national certification as a woman-owned business enterprise. Despite a few high-profile names, the technology industry is not known for having many female executives. Jennifer works to encourage emerging female entrepreneurs and provide support for those in leadership positions. And her work with organizations including Women in Technology and the Women's President's Organization are important components to that effort. In addition to running her business, Jennifer has spent the last 10 years serving as the mayor of the borough of Spring Lake. She's the first female mayor in Spring Lake's 125-year history. Typically, she spends time each week meeting with her staff, professionals, and residents on issues relevant to her community. She led the town through a tumultuous period following Hurricane Sandy and has developed an unusually close relationship with many of Spring Lake's residents. Jennifer also serves as board and committee members for the Manasquan High School Academy of Finance, the Spring Lake Five Road Race, and the Eleanor Tuomi Scholarship Committee, all local organizations with strong roots in the community. Her close-knit family, her husband Gary and two children, Nicholas and Elise, are at the center of her life, and the love and support that they share is the single most influential and meaningful aspect of Jennifer's life. Lisa Vidiello and Ginger Pataccio. Lisa Vidiello is a CPA licensed in the state of New Jersey and a graduate of Seton Hall University. Lisa began her career as an auditor for Ernst & Young and subsequently was the chief financial officer for a central Jersey builder before founding Town & Country Management Incorporated, for which she serves as president. Her knowledge spans the creation of policy and procedures by which a business functions, accounting and internal control systems, tax, marketing, budgeting, and business planning. She oversees all financial aspects of the community. Town & Country's Executive Vice President, Ginger Pataccio, is also a graduate of Seton Hall University. She has also attained her Professional Community Association Manager designation. Ginger has extensive knowledge in all aspects of building and construction. Her knowledge and experience spans the real estate spectrum, 
from coordinating the land subdivision approval process, directing the construction of new homes, renovating older homes, and selling the finished creations. She oversees all physical maintenance and compliance issues related to the communities. Lisa and Ginger are both active members in the Community Associations Institute. Lisa is currently a board member for the Legislative Action Committee, and she continues to be a seminar speaker throughout the year and at annual trade shows. Ginger has served on the Education and Editorial Committees and has also been trained and certified as an alternative dispute mediator. Marilyn Schlossback Marilyn Schlossback was thrust into the culinary world by chance. The self-taught chef and entrepreneur went from marketing student to waitress to chef at Ocean, one of New Jersey's first Asian fusion restaurants in what many would consider to be a blink of an eye, and has spent the last 30 years developing her culinary style through travel, self-instruction, and an unwavering passion for gastronomy. Marilyn has developed her own brand of vacation cuisine that takes foodies on a round-the-world journey to some of the globe's most sought-after culinary destinations. She also spotlights local, sustainably sourced ingredients that pay homage to local purveyors and producers and seasonal ingredients. After years spent honing her craft, Marilyn is now the proprietor of six food and beverage establishments along the New Jersey coast and an avid community advocate through her nonprofit organization, Food for Thought by the Sea, and her community food truck project. Her community work includes Asbury Park's Kula Cafe, community gardening and surf lessons with the Boys and Girls Club of Asbury Park, and support of environmental organizations like Clean Ocean Action. Fall 2016 saw the launch of Marilyn's first charitable wine label. Community Vines, in partnership with Seamus Wines and Shorepoint Distributors. The first vintage, Rumson Red, includes a give-back component that supports local and global food charities. Lunch Break in Red Bank, as well as the Food Bank of Monmouth and Ocean Counties, are Community Vines' first beneficiaries. When she's not in one of her venues or conducting community outreach, Marilyn is spending time with her twin girls, Hari Mar and Ruby D, and her husband, Scott Segeski relishing life at the Jersey Shore, and traveling for continued inspiration. Sabrina Coppola Sabrina Coppola is the founder and clinical director of Social Butterfly Counseling and a professor at Ramapo College of New Jersey. Social Butterfly Counseling is a private psychotherapy practice specializing in supporting children, families, and adults in making healthy choices and creating positive change. Sabrina's passion is in her clinical work, and she focuses much of her attention on the people that she has the privilege of serving. Sabrina lives in Oakland with her husband and two children. Jordan and Joel Hernandez. Jordan and Joel Hernandez are both proud alumni of Loyola University. The twins are the hosts of A Double Dose of Entertainment, the weekly radio show that airs on Yes Hour Radio. They're the authors of the debut book of their newly established publishing company, and nearly 14 years ago, founded Little Souls Incorporated. Currently, Jordan and Joel are project managers at Media Planet USA, where they spearhead advocacy and awareness campaigns that are published within the nation's leading newspapers. Daniela Olt. Daniela of Colts Neck has made it her passion to help children through her own 501c3 organization, Daniela's Wish. The mission is to help children feel comfort and safety by providing items they have lost or need to get them through tragedy or times of sadness. She doesn't worry about the time that she spends over the holidays, nights, and weekends to lend a helping hand to others. Not a day goes by where she isn't thinking about what she can do to help her community. These are an outstanding group of high achievers whose very accomplishment and success strengthen our communities. We have come together today to honor them all. We ask you to give each nominee a huge round of applause as they come forward to receive their certificates.